Hi, we're here with Ben Chi. He's the recipient of the June Jacobs Graduate Student Council Award. Well, he's also a student from the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department, and currently he's working on robotics. Can you tell us a little bit more what you're doing in your lab, or your, your, what your research consists on? Sure. My research topic is an area called soft robotics, and what this means is instead of traditionally rigid components like metals, we're trying to build our robots out of uh, compliant and flexible materials. And so, why might we want this? Imagine a future where, as, as robotics and automation becomes more and more prevalent in our everyday lives, you're, you could be working next to or alongside a robot in one of your everyday tasks. And right now, if you imagine some of the robots that you might find in a factory, they're mostly made out of these traditionally rigid materials. And so if one of them were to fall on you or if you bump into it or something, it might injure you. And so what we're trying to do is develop robots that when you come into contact with them, they won't be able to hurt you. That's, that's great, it's interesting, but um, how does this soft rubber look like? They look like humans or what are the designs? Uh, what is the design requirement you're looking for in a soft rubber? They could look like humans, but that's not a requirement by any means. Our lab is called the Bioinspired Robotics and Design Lab, and what that means is we draw a lot of inspiration from what you might see in nature and biology. So of course that includes humans, but that also covers other animals. And as an example, we have other students working on robots that can crawl, robots that can swim, and even ones that can fly. Me specifically, I'm looking at robot hands and how can looking at how can we give them a more informative sense of touch. So the reason for that is because touch is a very important sense that we use on a daily basis. It's used for figuring out where objects are or where you are in the world, but it's also a very important aspect of nonverbal communication. And so Going back to the factory robots, if you imagine you're working alongside one of these collaborative robots and you did a really great job on something and the robot wants to give you a pat on the back, right now that might be a scary prospect because the robot doesn't really have the sensors to understand where it should pat you on the back or how hard to, to pat you on the back. And so it might accidentally injure you instead. And so what we're striving towards is um, robots that have a more informative sense of touch. Well, that's great. You're making robots that can feel. That's amazing. But well, apart from your great research, you also want, are one of the founding members of RoboGrads right here, a uh, student organization here at UCSD. Can you tell us a little bit more what RoboGrad does? Um, what are some of your biggest achievements over the past years? Robograds is the robotics graduate student community on UCSD's campus and it was founded with another student in my lab, Caleb Christensen, because we, there were so many new students coming in at the time, especially around the, the time that the Contextual Robotics Institute was really beginning to grow. And as part of that, there's what that meant was there's a lot of new students and new faces and a lot of times we would recognize them but we had no idea what they were working on. And so uh, we were always very interested in hearing about what other people are working on here because there's so many people doing so many cool things. And we would start inviting students about once a week to come and give a short talk to the others, to other grad students, just about introducing themselves and telling us a little bit about what they're working on. And as this community began to grow more and more, we, uh, we started trying to do some other events. So in the last, in around the last year or so, we've been looking at doing more social events, more, um, more interaction with industry and, uh, and involvement within the San Diego Robotics community. And we've also been inviting more speakers for the seminar series from industry and also visiting professors from other universities. And so 
I think it's a fantastic opportunity to be in San Diego right now for robotics because there's so many interdisciplinary challenges that people are tackling. And I think robotics and automation is in a great place to help with a lot of these areas. And so we have the, we have the ocean nearby, so um, there's Scripps Institute of Oceanography, and we have the military nearby as well. And the, in addition to that, there's also a large biotech community as well. And so there's so many different topics that are ripe for robotics to help with. Well, uh, that sounds amazing. Keep up the great work. And again, congratulations on the award. And I wish you the best of luck in your research. Thank you. Thanks.